Hi everyone, I am Shopnir Banerjee and today in this video we shall talk about anti-rabies vaccination schedule. So why is it even important to know? Because dog bites are really very common in India. And you will have to remember that rabies doesn't only spread from dog bites, it may spread from any rabid animals. So yeah, you must know about them. So here we have a number of regimes, like we have intramuscular regimes, we have different intradermal regimes. So we shall talk about them in this video. So first of all, we shall talk about the post-exposure prophylaxis. So here we have the SN regime. In SN regime, we shall take vaccines on day 0, 3, 7, 14 and 28. And on each day, we shall take only one vaccine via intramuscular route. The dose will be 0.5 ml or 1 ml. Now another intramuscular regime we have that is Zagreb regime. In this regime, we shall take vaccination on day 0, day 7 and day 21. On the first day, we shall take two intramuscular vaccines and on day 7 and 21, we shall take only single intramuscular dose. The doses will be 0.5 ml or 1 ml. Now we shall talk about the intradermal dose for post exposure prophylaxis and here we have the updated thigh red cross regime. In this regime, the vaccination will be taken on day 0, 3, 7 and 28. On each day, the person will get two site intradermal dose and the dose will be 0.1 ml. That was all for the post exposure prophylaxis. Now we shall talk about pre exposure prophylaxis. First of all, you will have to know when it is indicated. If a person has high chances of getting bitten by a dog or in a rabid animal or he or she is living in an area endemic with rabies, in that case, the person may take pre exposure prophylaxis. So in pre exposure prophylaxis, the person will have to take vaccines on day 0 and day 7 and another dose on day 21 or day 28. Here, he or she may go with the two site intradermal dose or one site intramuscular dose. Now think, if a person is already vaccinated with the pre-exposure prophylaxis, but still he or she gets a dog bite. Now which regime he will have to follow? So in this case, he will have to follow a regime where he will have to take a one site intradermal or one site intramuscular vaccine on day zero and day three. Or he may also follow another regime where he will have to take four site intradermal dose on day zero. But here you will have to make sure the person was completely vaccinated with the pre-exposure prophylaxis. So that was all for this video. I hope it was very easy to understand for you all. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.